Nathan Jones, one 0 win over Accrington Stanley this afternoon. Pleased with that? Yeah, very pleased. Very pleased. Big win for us. And shows how far we've come. Accrington, we came here. Accrington, Accrington came here last year. I think it's one two 0 and. Uh, I don't feel we, we believed we could we could beat sides in the, you know in the top three and top four and stuff, but this 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 week uh, this this result's a massive one. Look, they they sat in and they weren't the usual self for what they how they normally play again. Another team change for us, and I thought we were excellent. The character we showed uh, it wasn't fluent first half, and we, you know the crowd started getting a bit edgy, but they stayed with us. Fair play for them, and we gave them a second half performance, and it should have been a lot more. I mean, the chat, their keeper's been absolutely absolutely inspired let's not let, let's let's make no bones about it but we kept playing we kept believing and we showed a, a level of character which was outstanding and i like to single out two players one scotty cuthbert because his first half performance was as bad as i've seen second half he led and he was my captain and i'm proud of him and then christian walton put in a match winning save right at the end which that's why he is the best keeper in this league bar none well, we'll come to that save later helping out his housemate Glenn Ray, I mean, it was a terrific save, but as you said, it took a while to get going, but the crowd showed patience, and that's what we need at times, isn't it? That's what we need at home, yeah, it really is, and they did that, but I think they get what we're doing, and that's what I'm so pleased with, I'm proud, I'm proud of my club today, really proud of how we kept playing, we didn't launch it, we don't go like other teams go, or, or we don't, we keep playing, we're sticking to our principles, and they showed a level of character, which is brilliant, absolutely brilliant, and listen, we carved open some chances today, we should have won by far more. But we'll take a 1-0 because sometimes 1-0 are brilliant. And James Justin was getting down the right and putting some, some great crosses and of course it was one of his crosses that led to the goal from Cameron again. Another, another goal from Cameron, ninth of the season. Yeah, he has a desire to get in the box. He arrives bang on time. He's, he's like Frank Lampard. He, the kid is like Frank Lampard. That's who I compare him with. And uh, brilliant. I'm so pleased for him. I'm so pleased for them as a group because they trusted me today and they believed in me. We said we keep playing, we keep playing. And well done to the players, but well done to the fans as well, because I said they believed, they kept with us. And then they, they lifted us around about 60, 60 minutes. They would come on Luton and it, was, it lifted everyone. Brilliant. Good day for the club today, you know. And just before that, obviously, you brought Isaac Vassell on and, and he won a free kick straight away on the edge of the box, which obviously Alan Sheehan smashed against the crossbar. And, and it was coming, wasn't it? He, he sort of lifted things as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's what we want from our game changers. We don't just want them to come on and go through the motions. We need and we have the squad that, can, that brings on real quality. And I, I'm pleased to have that. Um, but no, look, it's... Uh, it's uh, so it's a good day for us today, a real good day for lots of, lots of reasons and, and Isaac, come on, but he's, 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 he's that impact. But I'm pleased, I'm, I'm pleased for lots of reasons today, you know, and, 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 and that's a good day for us. We obviously there was one downside with the red card for Jordan Cook. Was that maybe just a, a little bit his, his eagerness to try and press? No, that was stupidity, back? utter, utter stupidity. And he knows that and we'll, 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 we'll deal with that because he can't leave his players in in the lurch like that later on, he's been booked and then he goes and lunges in and invites a booking and that's, you know, it's been a lot, last, last week's Pelly Reddick is, you know, he, he, he was harsh so I can't have a go at him for that. Danny Houghton's picked up stupid ones and I've been a little bit lenient but now maybe I need to, need to come down on one or two because we can't keep having that and then having to defend later on because that could have been a one-all draw, you know, and then we'd have been kicking ourselves where we should have been three or four. So it's a lack of discipline, he's not unlucky, it's, it's for me, it's, and don't quote the stupidity, but it's, it's naive and, and a lack of professionalism for me there. Obviously, it left us, like last week, having to play out the last few minutes with 10 men. And you mentioned that character, it came through, and Christian Wharton's fantastic saves right at the end. I mean, it was, a, it, it was even better because nobody expected it because it came off Glenn's knee, I think, didn't it? Well, that's reaction to it. But look, I, I hear a lot of people talking about a lot of people. That kid's the best in the league by a mile. I mean, he is. We're very fortunate to have him because he's a top keeper. The top keeper. He's a championship keeper playing in League Two, so we're bl delighted to have him, and he's going to get better. And we're glad he's in our environment because I, you know we've saw that, and then the work we do with him and stuff. As as I'm really pleased. I'm really, really pleased. And I don't want to put any spotlight on him, but he is. He's he's brilliant. I mean, we're, we're not moved up anywhere in the league, but it's important. You know, still in fourth place. Important to get that win after a few draws. It keeps it ticking over. Eight games unbeaten now in the league. It's, it's a good run we're on, isn't it? Yeah, and we've got to keep it there because everyone else is, you know, there's a lot of winners. Carlisle's dropped points today, so we've got closer to them. Plymouth have won, you know, had a great win, win away, Doncaster have, but we can't be worried about that. What we have to do is just keep doing the things that we do. And as I said, sometimes margins are tight, but that, that's a big win today. And it's a big win for a lot of reasons that other people might not, not realise. But I'm, I'm proud of my group, really proud of my group today. And a week now to prepare them, no midweek game, for another long trip to Morecambe. 
Yeah, no, we we'll, we'll have them thing. We've, we've, we'll give them a bit of downtime because they said that they need it. It's the block, and then we'll we'll go again. And uh, and I said we've got another another difficult away game uh, on on Saturday, which you know. Well, we've, got to, we've said we're in a group of fixtures now, leading up to, to the new year, that are really important. Three competitions. So we're going to need the squad, we're going to need the group, and uh, as I said, they were, they were, they were brilliant today. Well done to that, actually.